What's happening, Hardscapers? Today we have a project that I'm gonna dissect that we took on at the very beginning of the season. It's a lift and relay. Lots of things are wrong with this, especially the use of stone dust, three-eighths, minus, whatever you wanna call it, limestone screenings, and why you shouldn't use it. Also some things to pick apart in terms of building a raised patio in this video. Let's get into this. What's up guys, first project of the year. We are ripping up this raised patio area and it is built entirely on stone dust. I'll show you that and show you what we're doing and what stone dust does to your patio. All right, so on this patio we have stone dust all the way through for the steps about six inches there into this top patio. So evidently this is all moving under the weight of everything and this patio is all ripped up now this is stone dust it is a ship down to fines and what it does is it retains the water it doesn't let the water drain so it causes lots and lots of issues so stone dust will keep moisture on top of it that'll cause efflorescence on the top of the pavers that'll lead to the polymeric sand and you can see on this project the polymeric sand never hardened so it's just completely gone on this project so as you can see here it's going to retain your water and it's going to cause a lot of heaving in the frost in the frost cycles so this is dipped down completely these steps are pushed out the top part of this patio is all dipped everywhere and you can even see along the patio wall you got a big lip here you can even see where the polymeric sand was before and how much this has gone down almost half an inch there and everywhere through this patio so this is all torn up and you can see we dug a hole to see how deep we were with the stone dust in <laughs> about about 10 inches there of stone dust all the way down to the bottom. So this has all got to come out and we're going to get the stone dust excavated and new material put in. I'll be I missed it. I was trying to pay attention to this. Don't worry, you're on camera. I can listen to it back. So this is why we don't use stone dust. If you take a look at these steps, they are falling down already away from the house and they actually should have an extra row of block here instead of backfilled. And this is actually backfilled against the foundation, as you can see here. And that's gonna cause problems. So that needs to be lined with block going across. And we are deep with stone dust here, really deep. So this all has to come out. All the stone dust has to come out. Going along here and all the way across. So what we did was we dug out across the walls and did some trenches so that when we're digging, we're not putting pressure on the walls because the walls are gonna stay. They're on a gravel. Just the stone dust is coming out. The lack of embedment with the steps caused the steps to lean forward. The 24 inches of stone dust in the upper patio portion, that just caused sinking and so many different problems with keeping moisture against that brick masonry. So with all this being said, we ended up keeping the walls Typically with a raised patio, I will build walls all along the foundation so that it's a completely different structure and there's no weight being put onto the foundation of the house. Hey, I just wanna pause this video for a minute to let you know that you should be hitting that like button below. That helps us get this content to more people, let them know that they should not be using stone dust in their projects, helps to improve our industry and to get more hardscape content into more people's eyes, ears, wherever on YouTube. So give this video a like, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe so that we can get right back to this video. So I wanna point your attention to this. These were steps that we pulled out here. 
up against the foundation and there should never be gravel right up against the foundation. There should have been a, a relief wall going across, but they had, if you could picture this, the next set of block on top of this for the step with that gravel right up against the brick because these weepers need to be able to breathe. So we got to get all this out and make sure. And again, stone dust all the way through this project. Do not build on stone dust. We went complete clean stone, open graded base for this raised patio when we reinstalled it and now the client will have no issues with it. We've got GeoGrid throughout the whole system tying into the steps. It's completely supported. We've also got a drainage pipe along the whole foundation through the raised patio and exfiltrating out of the system through the wall. That is it for today's episode. If you enjoyed this content, please give this video a like. This really helps us get this content out into more people's eyes, ears, wherever on YouTube. If you want more content like this, let us know in the comment section. Let us know what you use for your base material. Let us know if you have any questions about this video in the comment sections and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hardscape content. Thanks for watching.